Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is someone who is ha having a lot of feelings for you. There's an infatuated energy here. Someone is very drawn towards you. They're very focused on you, and they are um, daydreaming about you. You know, this person is really developing a lot of intense emotions for you. Okay, so let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, and the Four of Swords, Air Energy. So you may not be with this person right now, but you're heavily on their mind. Like this person, they may try to focus on work, but they, they, they constantly get distracted by the idea of you. Um, but this person isn't taking action towards you. In fact, this person could even be a bit shy or afraid of taking action towards you. Um, you may not notice this person with the Four of Swords here, um, or if this is someone you, you, you do know there's an energy of you guys being separated right now like on a break or just you guys doing your own thing right now but this person is thinking about you more than you may know more than you may be thinking of them okay so let's clarify these cards virgo Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is Fixed Sign Energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio Energy. So this person is waiting for the right time, the right opportunity, the right moments. So they are not just thinking about you, they're thinking about you with the intention of when can I reach out, how can I reach out, that they, they are actually wanting to make a move. So let's see. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, Water Energy, the Magician, Mercury Energy. And the Eight of Cups, Water Energy. So you could have walked away from this person because it's like this person, they want to approach you, but there's a lack of confidence or there's a fear there. Um, so they are waiting to build up their courage, you know, with the magician. It looks like the, this is someone who feels like they would have to really impress you, or pull out the stops for you. Um, with the Eight of Cups, they are viewing you as someone who... Who, who isn't focused on them, someone who's turned your back on them. And with the Ace of Cups, we're seeing them wanting to make you an offer. They want some sort of new beginning with you. They want to invest emotionally here. They are overwhelmed, you know, like their feelings are overflowing. That This person can't contain how deeply they feel for you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Virgo. Okay, we have conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse, and we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So if this is someone you walked away from, um, they they want to bring love back to the situation. This person could have even cried of you. There's a fear of this being over. This this is not something they want. Um, this person is um, fearful of how to approach you. They they really don't want to mess things up, and they do want you to know that they love you. They have deep feelings loving romantic feelings for you they they feel as if you may not be aware of the how how deeply they feel for you okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you
Okay, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay, so this person is still very tied, it's very drawn towards you. Okay, we have unanimity and harmony. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. So this person is wanting you guys to get back on good terms or to be on the same page about something. And um, they're gaining up, they're working up the courage, the confidence to make a move towards you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the card for your advice for them. Okay, we have surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.